So I thought this business with Mr. T. Lex of I was under the rug. Never going to be seen a live day again. But then Noah J456 appears as of yesterday, so the 25th of August 2024, and responds to Lex's allegations in a proper way. And I didn't think he'd do this, so this is going to be fun. So in this video, um, No J four five six responds to the allegations that Mr T Lexify made about himself, J C Backfire, and the Smith plays regarding the uh, Mr T Lexify situation, as well as the allegations that he made against them personally. So um, I'm going to leave it open to interpretation for you guys to work out what's what, but I'm going to go over my thoughts and my opinions and a bit of an analysis on the situation. So the first major point he makes in his video is the fact that Lex lied about Ren's age and was dishonest with his friends. Let's play that little clip and then we're going to discuss. In August of 2017, Lex brought a girl named Reagan over to the Z House. If you're unaware, the Z House was a content house comprised of five different YouTube content creators that made videos together and featured other creators such as myself who would often visit the house. When Lex first brought Reagan over to the Z House, he told everyone she was 18 years old. Two weeks ago, Lex released a document in a YouTube video titled My Ex in response to the allegations made by his ex-girlfriend Reagan. In those documents, we found out that Lex knew Reagan was underage and lied to all of us in the Z house about it. It is very important to note that when my friends first met Reagan, Reagan had asked me to lie to them about her age. The night that Lex brought Reagan over, he was 19 years old and we thought Reagan was 18 years old because that's what Lex told us. But in reality, Reagan was 16 years old that night, two years below the age of consent in California. Thinking it somehow absolved him of any wrongdoing, Lex then revealed in his video that he knew Reagan was an underage obsessed fan. Another important thing to mention is that Reagan was an obsessive fan of mine. She fetishized me before I even knew who she was. I never used my influence to engage with her. She was the first person to message me and enact any sort of a relationship. When I learned about all of this two weeks ago, I felt so betrayed that someone I considered my friend would bring an underage fan into what was supposed to be a safe place amongst friends and continuously lie about her age. I would so to be quite honest with you, I can actually see where Noah J456 is coming from in this situation because he's thinking, oh, it's a safe environment for people of a certain age to be in. So there shouldn't really be any underage people in this environment, especially if there's alcohol, potentially drugs involved and having minors in that environment just isn't the right thing to do in general. So I see his point on that. With the regards to the whole Lex line about Ren's age, I'll be quite honest with you, I don't know enough, and I don't think we even know enough from what Lex said alone, whether the, her forcing um, him to lie about her age was the truth or not, because it's only hearsay at the end of the day, and it's very, very hard to prove. Um, the issue is, though, that Lex at the same time does have friends who care about him and that trust him, and he should have just admitted it and told them about her age if that was the case so it makes you wonder whether he was trying to hide her age or what there's too many questions basically i just can't tell what's what with this one uh, but i can see noah's point of a safe environment with people of an appropriate age i get that i really really do and to be quite honest with you mr tlx if i truthfully now thinking looking back at what i said probably should have said something but again, it's up to interpretation whether Ren um, forced um, him to lie about the age or not, because I think the evidence is pretty weak on this topic. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you think about that. So up next, Noah mentions that Lex was talking to a 13-year-old girl on online regarding the situation with him and his ex, or, or whatever have you. And obviously, that is not a normal thing to do in general. So let's just hear Noah's take on this, and I'll let you know my proper thoughts in a second. Lex was talking to a 13-year-old fan while he was 20 years old to discuss his relationship problems. Alex was a fan of my channel, who had messaged me first because I momentarily opened my Twitter DMs to the public. Alex was the one who initiated the conversation with me. Our communication included a short Skype call, during which I discussed the abuse I was currently experiencing with my ex-girlfriend, Reagan. The conversation was strictly non-sexual and was never taken anywhere inappropriate. Alex was simply a kind fan that I confided in after a heated argument with my ex-girlfriend, Reagan. Lex put this tweet from the 13-year-old fan on screen during his video in defense that he did nothing wrong. What he failed to do was mention or address the tweet that triggered all of this. This tweet from the fan alleges that Lex actually knew her age and continued talking to her and, quote, wanted a friend in Ireland that he could come visit where she lived. Now, I know nothing weird or sexual really went on in these messages and th with this exchange, but... Apparently, according to the 13-year-old herself, 
Lex knew about her age, and I would never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, ever talk to a, a person that's 13 years old or whatever have you about my relationship problems or my life in general, really. I think they're far too young to hear about that, especially if you're an adult. You should talk to an adult or your friends or support group, anyone but a 13-year-old man. I think that's crazy. No, J456 was right to call this one out. It's completely messed up, that. And to be honest, I completely forgot about that part of the um, situation um, and tool no pointed it out um pretty messed up stuff man not looking good then up next noah states they only did one small thing on stream i'm gonna let that clip play out of him saying that thing on stream and then we'll discuss um literally all i can say about it is i'm like kind of behind i like partially saw a video someone made about it pop up in my recommended um but like at the end of the day if there were, is anything a illegal or b morally wrong that happened then like that is obviously condoned at the or like not condoned what's the opposite of condoned Killer condemned with oh my, my god last thank dollar. you thank you Sam smiley B. face condemned just want no but in all seriousness if anything any sort of wrongdoing was done it is condemned at the highest level i like it's and it's disappointing at so to be fair to both sides um i'm not gonna give noah the credit for this one i mean yes what he said on stream was true or whatever um it wasn't even that bad and I, I, he's not condoning what happened that's i mean that's what he basically said in the stream but 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 um the issue is how do i know for sure or how does anyone know for sure that's just what he wants us to see he might have said far more stuff behind the scenes that we don't know about and i just think that that evidence is pretty weak in my opinion because said way more stuff on dms we haven't seen because at the end of the day these youtubers are not going to expose themselves unless they're stupid so they're probably giving so people i know j456 may or may not be giving us um information that we, we that they want us to see so it's very difficult to tell what's true and what's not true and that goes for everything in this video so far but this allegation doesn't really stick with me in my well not this allegation this doesn't really stick with me in my opinion i'm not gonna really um take give that credit that and that's enough evidence so now we're going to move on to the JC Backfire situation. So according to Mr. T Lexify, JC Backfire was cheating on his girlfriend with her sister. And whether this is true or not, I actually don't really know, to be honest, because the evidence is all over the show at the moment. Everyone's just saying one thing and all the rest of it. But here's Noah's take on it. JC cheated on his girlfriend, Emmy, with his girlfriend's sister at Coachella. Lex said this about someone who he once called a close friend. JC's family has welcomed Lex into their home multiple times. Every single person who is at that Coachella this year can tell you that this never happened. In fact, his only proof that this happened was a text message from his ex-girlfriend Reagan, which he had just spent the previous 20 minutes of video telling us exactly why not a single word she says should be trusted. If you want to trust my ex-girlfriend so much, here's a post Reagan made about seeing you cheat on Emmy with her sister Kate at Coachella. Everybody in our group saw your inexcusable actions and were utterly shocked that you would be sensually touching your girlfriend's sister in front of all of us while Emmy was not there. So either A, Lex decided for this one instance in the entire video to believe his girlfriend and throw out the allegation that was completely false against JC. Or B, he actually was using this as a point to say, oh look, don't trust my ex-girlfriend about anything. It's a horrible way to make a point to throw your friend under the bus like that, which makes the next thing he said even worse. Touching your girlfriend's sister in front of all of us while Emmy was not there. I don't think PlayStation Studios wants to associate with a cheater who defends pedophiles such as my ex-girlfriend, Reagan. What you are seeing on screen is every single person that Lex manipulated into thinking that JC was a backstabbing snake and a cheater and tried to get Get him fired from his job when he did absolutely nothing wrong so with this situation i'm pretty neutral on it to be quite honest with you because at the end of the day it's hearsay mr t lexify says one thing noah says another and jc backfire hasn't even spoken about the situation and at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure if you were to do something to someone's sister, it probably would have been found out months ago. And I don't think they would be together. That's just my honest opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I see things in these kind of situations. 
But um, I do think the bullying and harassment in regards to JC needs to stop because the saying things up to PlayStation saying he should, should be fired and all that kind of stuff isn't a very nice thing to do. You guys know better than that because at the end of the day, it's just um, rumours that are spreading all over the internet because um, we don't know ever sure if he defended Ren or not. Whether, we don't know it. We don't know enough. We don't know enough. It's just not a nice thing to do. People need to calm down. Now, there was another point that Noah made about Mini Lad coming to his DJ set. So, Mini Lad has been accused of all sorts of strangeness, let's just say. Basically, similar stuff to Lex and Ren and all that kind of stuff. And there was a uh, rumour going around or thing going around saying that he personally invited him. But Noah, well, tries to prove this. Let's see what you th guys think about this one. Then accused me of personally inviting Mini Lad, a YouTuber accused of talking to underage individuals, to my DJ set in Los Angeles. I want to make this very clear. I did not invite Mini Lad to come see me DJ, nor do I condone any alleged actions with underage individuals ever. Let's try to use Mini Lad's appearance in the crowd as definitive proof that I had invited him to my DJ set. I guess it makes sense considering Noah also invites pedophiles to his own DJ sets. Not only is this reason absolutely insane to say something as a fact, but here are several facts that actually prove otherwise. The first is that the event coordinators themselves confirmed he was actually invited by an entirely different party. The second you can see on the flyer that I'm actually not on because because I was a last minute booking is that this is an open invite event with over 400 people on the guest list that I don't even have access to. I also don't have any control over whether or not a venue does or doesn't let a random person into the building. To further demonstrate all of these points, I'm gonna show this clip from the actual DJ set. As you can see, 15 minutes into the set, a group of people arrives and this is the first time he shows up behind me. I have no idea who arrived or who is behind me because I'm focused on DJing. As you can see, these people arrive and then this is the first time he shows up in the background. He stands in the background for about five minutes, never once do I see him or interact with him, and then about five minutes later, he starts talking with the people he arrived with and then they disappear from the video never to be seen again in the entire set. Everyone that I came to this set with is on the right side. As you can see he's back here talking to the people he arrived with and then he disappears from the video and I do not see him the entire event. So after watching that um, I mean he's shown a lot of uh, video evidence there and screenshots of the invite system so to be honest I believe him for the, for the most part. I mean there isn't any evidence of him inviting him anywhere, but again, he could be showing us what we want to see, what he wants us to see even, sorry. So we need to take this with a grain of salt. But from what he said, it looks very believable. And I couldn't imagine someone like Noah, to be fair, doing something like that. But again, that's just my opinion. Again, this could all be hearsay. But we need to take everything here with a grain of salt. Um, and you can have an opinion like me where, where I don't think he's capable of inviting someone like that. And to be fair, he might not have even known at the time that this was even a thing, so even if he did invite him. So there's lots of interpretations we can make from this. Again, leave your opinions in the comments below. The final point I want to make in this video is regarding the Z House situation. So Noah claims that it was the Smith plays and Lex um, mainly um, was the reason that the Z House was cancelled, not because of him cheating on his wife. But let's just discuss this. Z House 3 as Lex states, and ironically, Lex actually knows the exact person for the reason Z House 3 doesn't exist. This is a sore subject for me. Uh, <laughs> I know. I'm going to be honest. Matt, yeah. It's funny because the last thing I remember about, this was the third year we were going to do it, right? We were deciding whether or not we are going to do it for the third summer. So that's 2019? 20, 2018. I want to say 2018. 18. 18. Yeah. Jack was down. Chucky, believe it or not, Chucky actually saw things the way I did. Like Z House could really be a brand. Yeah. It started to get like its own thing. Yeah. Like we have a merch. Like we could really do this as like a thing. Yeah. So he was in. He was also in. It was you and Pat that weren't. What? Wait, Dude. I didn't know that. Yeah. So when you say you regret it, it really hurts me because no, it's like, bro, I tried. Like Mr. T Laxify kind of threw himself under the bus in this interview because he openly admitted literally that it was him and Smith plays on this interview. Um, but in retrospect, he could have been covering for what was going on behind the scenes at the time, just so the public weren't aware, so there wasn't all this drama that's been happening now. I'm not 100% certain on that. But, I mean, Lex has kind of thrown himself under the bus, and I think he should clarify this one a bit, if he can, whether it's on a tweet or a video, that would be great, because I'm a little bit confused of what's going on. But he, cl but he's claiming in this video that it was it was himself and Pat that um, um, decided not to go ahead with it. 
or, and then in the video that he made, he claims that it was Noah J four five six um, it being being a bit dodgy with his relationship. So I'm a bit um, very mixed on this one as well. Let me you know what you guys think in the comments um, about this one as well. I mean, there's a lot of crazy points in this one, and I know there's a point about um, Noah J four five six cheating on his wife, but I'm going to give the man full credit for this one. He openly admitted it. I mean. I can't really say anything about that. If he openly admits, admits to that situation, good on him. I'm not saying what he did was right. Cheating is not what you should be doing to anybody. But he admitted it and he was honest about it. And I'll give him credit for that. Um, he did a good job with that. And I hope he can move forward from that situation. Overall, I'm going to say one more thing as well. I'm really upset at the moment because I'm a zombie YouTuber myself. And there's other zombie YouTubers out there who make good, honest content. And I don't really make videos like this. I make the, this is the third and probably the final video I make on the situation unless things rise. And the reason I'm making it about zombie YouTubers in particular because I'm trying to show these guys... We need to set an example. You need to set an example for your fan base. There shouldn't be any internet drama. People coming to you guys to watch zombie videos. They want to see how to complete the Easter egg, how to get to a high round or fun little zombies challenges or whatever have you. They, they're coming for that. They don't want all this crazy drama about how you've um, been you've been a paedophile or how you've been doing this or how you've been doing that because at the end of the day, this stuff is just, well... It's not okay, and um, the fact that it's even being spoken about in the zombies community is really, really heartbreaking for me. And I think us zombie YouTubers need to stand together. We need to put our differences aside, put our personal lives aside, and make the zombies community great again. That's all I want, and I'm sure that's what many other people want. We don't want all this drama and all this craziness. We just want zombies. Anyway, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my video and i will see you guys on the next one peace out